What's Seven all about? Seven? What's it all about? I haven't the foggiest idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <clears throat> seven refers to, of course, the seven deadly sins that were enumerated by, I, first, I think, by St. Thomas Aquinas. When it was launched in the States, Seven went straight to number one in, in the box office ratings. It took $14 million in its first week. What do you think its appeal is to an audience? Obviously, it's the fact that I'm in the movie. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't uh, know beyond the fact that it's an exciting uh, new story. Uh, movie audiences are waiting for the next story to come out, the next uh, exciting thing to go and watch, to be excited by, frightened by, titillated by, uh, moved by, you know. You did a lot of theatre work. You were in the theatre in a part which, in a movie, was your, your biggest, first biggest hit over here, which was Driving Miss Daisy. Now, that must have been particularly sweet to create the role on stage and then to transfer to the screen, which is quite rare. It is quite rare, but that wasn't what was particularly sweet to me. What was particularly sweet was before Driving Miss Daisy when I did this movie called Street Smart, which I don't think got here. But I played a really dastardly character, a pimp. And the, that was a film, and I was doing the play Driving Miss Daisy, and the play opened when the film opened. So there's two characters being being reviewed by the press at the same time and both getting these incredible responses from the press, you know what I mean? That was, that was, I started telling everybody around me then, and said, look out, look out, look out, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you enjoy watching yourself on film? No, not particularly. I like watching a good film, and if I happen to be in it, fine, you know, but for the most part, no, I don't, because uh, when you're on stage, um, and you don't get to see yourself except as you're mirrored through the eyes and responses of the audience, you look a lot better, <laughs> you know? You don't see your um, perceived mistakes um, or, or things that you always think of as shortcomings in yourself, which we all have, you know? Uh, you, you're perfect. You're as perfect as the audience says you are. Uh, when, you, when you actually see yourself, uh, it, it, then the audience becomes less believable. You seem to be a man who likes to keep his feet very much on the ground. You sail a lot, you get off in your boat. Is that important to you, that that Chicago upbringing as a kid kind of keeps your feet on the ground, stops you getting a bit head in the clouds? Uh, You've got to keep contact with reality because if you lose contact and it slaps you, it's going to hurt. <laughs>